It's time to give my rankings on the last lap album from Rod Wave. I have spent days and hours summing through all of this music, listening to it over and over again, making notes. I've got, look, I've got sheets of notes and lists here of all the things I thought about these songs. So I'm just going to do it. I'm going to put a 23 to 1 ranking, y'all. There's no bad songs. There's none I can throw out. There's none I even want to put a 23, 2, 1, 20, 1980. I want to put them all at number one, but I can't. And there are some I actually did love more than others. By the way, if you want the fully unedited reaction to the entire album, go to our Patreon page. Uh, it's in the link. And we have a VIP tier there that you can get the entire, I think it's two and a half hours worth of reaction of me fully unedited, behind the scenes stuff, every single song. The edited version is out on YouTube for you to watch. But if you want all of it, every song, go to Patreon because that is the place to get the best content, especially album reactions from us and especially this one. Rod Wave, you outdid yourself. Five in a row and he's going for six. He's not even going for six, he's got six. They might as well hand it to him now. But I'm just gonna go through these rankings. I'm gonna go through them quickly so I don't waste your time and I'm gonna tell you my notes on them because as a mental health professional, you know I say Rod Wave is greater than therapy and I'm a therapist. That's a testament to that right there. Secondly, I've got my good luck hat with his autograph on it that night. I didn't realize I would be getting that autograph so I brought a black hat and that was probably not the great idea but it's there. Rod Wave, I've appreciated you, who you are, how you spill your heart and soul out in every single song, how you help me relate to the feelings that I have, and how you help so many people with their mental health with this song just to get the feelings out. So without further ado, let's just dive in, shall we? I'm just gonna go for it. Number 23, Bachelor. I know. Everybody's gonna have, you, you gotta tell me where I'm off and where I'm not in these rankings. Give me your comments, let me know what you think. But the Bachelor just made me sad. Bachelor makes me sad because it's him telling a story about just moving on and he and I don't want him to move on. Okay, I'm selfish there. Number 22. The best. The best. I, I, I put this here, number one, as a mental health person, just because I didn't hear as much of the mental health in it, right? It's a hardcore, it's a it's a ego rapping beat. Like it's cool, it's great. I love the song. It's just, it's, it's talking about who he is. Like, he's the best. He's just the best. Rod Wave, you are. Number 21, F fame. I can't say it. F fame. F you to fame. This is a song I'm sitting here reading. Like, I kind of didn't like it as much at first because I just felt like it, I don't know. It just seemed like every other rap song. And then I thought, the more I, li I listened to these this album like 10 times, in the last several days. And it's like, the more I listen to this song, the more I actually like this song. I'm starting to get into it. For 20, Lost in Love. I know, I know, this should be higher. It should be higher. The feelings, oh my gosh, the feelings this thing evokes. When he says watching your phone ring, I know you're watching your phone ring. That's just a straight up call out. Like, I know you're sitting there watching your phone ring. You know it's me, you just don't wanna answer it. Rounding out the fourth section of these four sections, the last segment here. Number 19, apply pressure. Apply pressure. This bounce back and forth for me. It's what it's about. I'm just gonna keep applying pressure. I'm gonna step on you. I'm gonna push you down. I'm not gonna let you, you're just not gonna find your way through this. All right, number 18, spaceship. Spaceship. That high voice, what did he say? I can't, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not even gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. Buy me a spaceship, take off. But you know what you realize? You're not going anywhere. You're just going off into space. You're not really running away from anything. You're gonna be right back where you were. But it's such a sentiment, right? Of just trying to get away and get away from all of the stuff that you wanna run from. Spaceship, number 18. Number 17, and I know this might surprise some people, Turtle Race. Number one song on the album here. First song off the album, Turtle Race. The thing I think that brought this down for me is, and I do need to say on Spaceship, the last one, that message to the youth I thought was pretty good. For young people, just pay attention. It's not all what you crack, what it's cracked up to be. You don't, it's not all what you think it is. It's a lot harder than you think it is. But Turtle Race, it's like a story of his journey. And when you think of a turtle race, that's a slow race, man. It takes a long time. And you gotta be patient, you gotta weather the storm. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And I did not expect this to be here. I thought this would be in the towards the end, but for me, I just couldn't stop. Jersey numbers. 
I couldn't figure it out at first, talking about being in jail, talking about judges, talking about being, you know, just a hardcore life to live. But it was sad. This was another one that was sad for me. <sighs> but you can overcome. I want you to know you can overcome. And that's what he's saying here. Number 15, karma. I know, I know. I'm wondering what y'all think about that. Karma. I owe karma so many heartbreaks that it scared me. In other words, karma is coming to kick you in the tail. And sometimes you have so many things that go your way. Or let's flip it. Sometimes don't go your way. Eventually, karma's got to come around and actually make life even out, I think is what it's saying. So be careful. Number 14, Dare. This is a song, I mean, I'm surprised. This originally was further down for me, too. That high voice, though, that high voice, he, oh, man. Sometimes I get high, most times I'm low. This hits home to so many people. That's why I think therapy matters. Sometimes I get high, most times I'm low. Y'all, that speaks, that's facts, gosh. Number 13, waited too late. Too late. To make it right, is it too late? No, I can't do it, I can't do it. Number 12, let's move into the top 12 and we are rolling out now with Passport Junkie. Number 12 is Passport Junkie for me. It's just a mood song, it's a mood song. It's like, man, she a Passport Junkie. Yep, love Passport Junkie. Number 11, fall fast in love, fall fast in love. Again, chorus with the high voice. You give me a week, I might be in lust. You give me a month, I might be in love. Just give me time, give me time. Cause man, sometimes you get that lust going and you think it's everything. And then you think I'm just gonna love you more and more as time goes on. But I'm telling you Rod Wave and everybody else, it's not always that way. It's not always that way. Ooh, here we go, number 10. The mess they made, the mess they made. Number 10, sometimes. It's great while the party's happening. Then everybody leaves and go home and you're, you're all alone. Cleaning up the mess they made. All these other people. And same in relationships. It's great while you're in it and then all of a sudden you're in a toxic relationship and you realize I'm gonna clean up the mess they made. And number nine, never mind. Never mind. Woo, sweet beginning. Sweet beginning in this song. I used to love you and now I hate you forever. Is that not a strong feeling? Number eight. Mike, this one I thought for sure would be in the 20s when I first listened to it. And then the more I listened to it, I'm like, man, in the arena, I'm Jordan. To my fans, I'm Jackson. And that's who Rod Wave is. It is just so cool to hear him say that through all the pain. He never quits. He never backs down. Number seven, Federal Nightmares. I couldn't let this one go. I could not let this go. Federal Nightmares, the beat's hard. It's not mental health, honestly. Million Dollar Dreams, Federal Nightmares. That is just such a hard song and so good. Just classic Rod Wave, like, I'm gonna tell you what it's like. This is what we live. This is how I live every single day. And now my top section, the top six is here. Where are these? Goodness, I gotta get ready for this. Number six, drum roll, last lap. <sighs> Song to Uncle D. Like, this is so sad. It's like all about, you know, him having all this time with Uncle D. And I'm not ready to let go. I don't wanna let go of you. I don't wanna let go of what you were to me, what you meant to me, who you were to me, what we've been through. I ain't ready to let go, man. It's the last lap the whole story of the tour. Let's all come together as a family and let's love each other and let's sing some great music that Rod, Rod Wave created and about his life. And part of his life was extreme loss this year. So sad to lose a person that's meant so much to you, has been your rock, your cornerstone, your foundation. It's what holds you together. And then he's gone and Rod Wave's got to figure out a way to move on and this is a way he can do it. Let's do it one more time for Uncle D. Thank you, Rod Wave, for that. Number five, top five, even love. Was it even love? Oh my goodness. This is so hard. This, this, I just can't. I could read all the lyrics right here. I could read them all right here. So hard to right my wrongs. Will you miss me when I'm gone? Think I'm better off alone. 
Are you better on your own? Will you miss me when I'm gone? Are you, are you, am I better off alone? Are you better off alone? And then at the end, like there, when he says, was it even love? Go get even love, because I know I will. That's just a subliminal message of like, I'm going to get even. I know I will. It's what I do, and I hate that about myself, that toxic trait of thinking, well, it wasn't even love, so I'm just going to go get even. And that's not good. That's not what you want in a relationship. But what a sweet song as far as depth of like emotion and pain. Fourth, I never thought this would be here, and I kind of hate putting this here. But it's too good not to. I ran. You know, I know this has got to be about somebody he went and either had an affair with or messed around with. It's got to be. And I'm telling you, it's such a good song. Rod Wave, it's such a good song. Like, this song is just so well put together. And here I am, like... I don't know, I'm conflicted. Because, you know, I want him to be in a relationship, family, all that kind of stuff. I'm your biggest fan. And then what he says, you know, I'll spend a million if I have to. I'll go to the gym if I have to. I'll do whatever. That's real passion for somebody. But man, I couldn't help but put it. It's got to be fourth, y'all. Now the top three. Scared love. Scared love. Being lonely really hurts. This, oh my gosh. Being lonely really hurts. Being lost in love is scary. Being lonely hurts. You know, everybody else out there living their life, being lost in love is so scary. Shout out to Keely on this one. Keely Maynard, who, you know, just sent this one over. He's so good. Rod Wave is so good at finding. He's kind of like Eminem finding Skylar Gray and putting those, those pieces in there. And Keely just hits a home run with it to make this song set the tone and set the mood. Scared love. He just, I don't want to do this, but it's scary. Being in love is scary. I want to be your piece, y'all. Final two. Guess what they are. Number two. You guessed it. Angel with an attitude. Oh, man. <laughs> Shout out to Dee. I mean, this has got to be about her and that, that idea of Rod Wave going out and meeting somebody and being like, yep, I got a chip on my shoulder and an ache in my heart. When you have a chip on your shoulder, you're going to go prove something to somebody, but you got an ache in your heart. You just, you're set on destruction. And this song is just so good. <sighs> Life's about choices. He says it in here. Oh, if you love her, let her go. That's what it's supposed to be. But if you really loves her, go get her. Go get her. Do what it takes. That's what therapy is for. Rod Wave, that is what therapy is for. It can help you live an amazing life. It can help you deal with pain, trauma, loss, hard things that have happened and find your real true self to be the person you want to be. I'm telling you, good therapy is really good. When you find the right person, it's really good. And I see clients every day in my office whose lives change, whose marriages change, families change because they look deep into their soul. And they did. They made themselves into who they really want to be, not who they think they have to be. Got to tell the truth, but he's like, I, f I found an angel with an attitude. She's not even half of you. She's not even half of you. Not even half. So you get that one that is the full, not the one that's the half, y'all. And finally, number one, obviously 25 best song on the album. Brings me to tears every time I listen to it. At 21, my life has just begun. 22, so many things to see and do. 23, looking forward to 24. And 25, what a time to be alive. But listen how he says, why do I feel old? Or am I getting old? Why do I feel tired? At 25, I'm worn out. And Rod Wave, I'm going to say if that's the case, I think it's because you've been running so hard and having so much thrown at you, pushed in all directions, overloaded, and not taking time for you. And it's important to be you. He needs to be himself. He needs to live his own life. He needs to have a life outside of this and not have this heavy burden on his shoulders all the time. 25, one of the all-time best Rod Wave songs to me. It just speaks to the soul, speaks to the spirit of like, let's look back at our lives and see, are we living the life we, we feel like we need to live? And as I ask people in my office, where are you right now? Where do you want to be? If that's a different spot where you want to be down the road six months, a year, five years, let's try to work on getting there. And don't feel like you have to stay stuck in this. Rod Wave, Last Lap album, incredible. Can't wait to see him in concert in Houston, Texas. If you're there, come see me and Nick. We are going to be there. I can't wait to see this live in concert. Always great listening to Rod Wave live and all the fans that get to sing the songs along with him. I appreciate 
Rod Wave, you are greater than therapy. You have been so nice to me and so kind and generous. I appreciate that. And I appreciate the music that you put out for the world. Remember, this isn't real therapy from me. Rod Wave's the therapy. If you want help, go get it. You deserve it. Mental health matters. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this. And we will see you at the next Rod Wave reaction. Mm -hmm.